Force, Energy and Power number 14. This time, for some reason, somebody's decided to hang a 4 kilogram mass from a Newton spring balance in an elevator. Once again, the kind of thing that only ever happens in a physics exam. Never in real life. Until we get back into the science centre and then I'll get Mr Dodds to run you up and down incredibly slowly in the science centre lift and you'll notice the barely perceptible change in the readings. It's a fun experiment, or at least it's an excuse to get out of the classroom. So, what's the tension? What is the reading on the Newton spring balance? Well, the reading on the Newton spring balance is going to be the tension on the spring, because that's how Newton spring balances work. So we'll bang in our tension formula again. Four kilograms, 9.8 for gravity, acceleration of 3.00. Now, in the question, if you look at it carefully, in the diagram where it shows the lift and the Newton spring balance in the lift, it says 3 metres per second squared. And in the wording of the question, it says 3.00 metres per second squared. The 3.00 has two significant figures in it. The 3 has only one significant figure in it. So I'm going to use this one because that means we've got two significant figures there, two significant figures there, two significant figures there. Makes life easier all round. Very unusual for them to do an exam style question where they just put three. Because as I mentioned earlier, that runs you into all kinds of significant error, uh, significant figure errors that have to be allowed for. For example, you're allowed to have one less significant figure in your final answer than is given in the data in the question. But if you only had one significant figure in the first place, that would mean you'd be allowed zero significant figures in your answer. Actually, nobody knows what that looks like. So, if you see in a lot of physics exam questions, 3.0, 5.0, something point zero, that's to get rid of that one significant figure problem. So, this should give us a nice, neat 51.2 Newtons. Now, hands up, who put 4 times 3 equals 12 and left it at that? You walked into the trap if you did. Don't do it again.